chapters one hundred and eighty one through one hundred and ninety of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge this librivox recording is in the public domain chapter one hundred and eighty one vignette the deceased kneeling in adoration before three gods who are seated before a door behind are a lion-headed and a vulture-headed god each of whom has a serpent above his head text the chapter of entering in to the divine sovereign chiefs of osiris and to the gods who are guides in the tuat and to those who keep ward over their gates and to those who are heralds of their halls and to those who are the porters of the doors and pylons of amentet and of making the transformations like a living soul and of praising osiris and of becoming the prince of the divine sovereign chiefs the osiris kenna triumphant saith homage to thee o governor of amentet unnefer lord of ta chetsert o thou who art diademed like ra verily i come to see thee and to rejoice at thy beauties his disc is thy disc his rays of light are thy rays of light his ureret crown is thy ureret crown his majesty is thy majesty his risings are thy risings his beauties are thy beauties the terror which he inspireth is the terror which thou inspirest his odour is thy odour his hall is thy hall his seat is thy seat his throne is thy throne his air is thy air his ornaments are thy ornaments his decree is thy decree his hidden place is thy hidden place his things are thy things his knowledge or powers is thy knowledge the attributes of greatness which are his are thine the power which protecteth him protecteth thee he dieth not and thou diest not he is not triumphed over by his enemies and thou art not triumphed over by thine enemies no evil thing whatsoever hath happened unto him and no evil thing whatsoever shall happen unto thee for ever and for ever homage to thee o osiris son of nut lord of the two horns whose atef crown is exalted may the ureret crown be given unto him along with sovereignty before the company of the gods may the god temu make terror of him to exist in the hearts of men and women and gods and khus and the dead may dominion be given unto him in anu heliopolis may he be mighty of transformations in tatu mendes may he be the lord greatly feared in the Aati may he be mighty in victory in restau may he be the lord who is remembered with gladness in the great house may he have manifold risings like a luminary in abtu abidas may triumph be given unto him in the presence of the company of the gods may he gain the victory over the mighty powers may the fear of him be made to go throughout the earth and may the princes stand up upon their stations before the sovereign of the gods of the tuat the mighty form of heaven the prince of the living ones the king of those who are therein and the glorifier of thousands in karaba the denizens of heaven rejoice in him who is the lord of the chosen offerings in the mansions above a meat offering is made unto him in the city het kapta memphis and the things of the night are prepared for him in sekhem letopolis behold o mighty god thou great one of twofold strength thy son horus avengeth thee he doeth away with every evil thing whatsoever that belongeth to thee he bindeth up in order for thee thy person he gathereth together for thee thy members he collecteth for thee thy bones he bringeth to thee thy thou art raised up then o osiris i have given unto thee thy hand and make thee to stand up alive for ever and ever the god seb directeth thy mouth the great company of the gods protecteth thee and they accompany thee unto the door of the gate of the tuat thy mother nut placeth her hands behind thee she giveth thee strength and she reneweth the power which protecteth thee burs thy two sisters isis and nephthys come unto thee and they unite thee unto life and strength and health and thy heart rejoiceth before them they in thee through love of thee and they load thy hands for thee with things of all kinds all the gods present unto thee provisions and behold they praise thee for ever 
happy art thou o osiris for thou art crowned and art endowed with strength and art glorious and thine attributes are established for thee thy face is like that of anpu ra rejoiceth in thee and he maketh himself to be a brother to thy beautiful person thou sittest upon thy throne the god seb maketh a libation for thee and that which thou wishest to receive is in thy hands in amentet thou sailest over the celestial regions each day thy mother nut maketh thee to go forth on thy way and thou settest in life in amentet in the boat of ra each day along with horus who loveth thee the protecting strength of ra guardeth thee the words of might of thoth are behind thee and isis maketh strength to follow after thy person i have come to thee o lord of ta chesert osiris governor of those who are in amentet un nefer whose twofold existence is for ever and for ever my heart is right and true my hands are pure i have brought things unto their divine lord and offerings unto the god who made them i have come and i have advanced to your cities i have done that which was good upon earth i have slain thine enemies for thee like sacrificial oxen i have slaughtered for thee thy adversaries i have made them to fall down upon their faces before thee i am pure even as thou art pure i have made pure for thee thy festival and i have upon thine altar to thy soul and to thy form and to the gods and to the goddesses who are in thy train rubric if this chapter be known by the deceased things of evil shall not gain the mastery over him and he shall not be turned back from any of the doors of amentet but he shall go in and come out and cakes and ale and all beautiful things shall be given unto him in the presence of those who dwell in the tuat chapter one hundred and eighty two vignette the deceased lying upon a bier within a funeral chest or coffer beneath the bier are three vases at the foot stand isis hapi and tuamartef and at the head nephthys mesha and keb seneth in the upper and lower registers are a number of seated and standing man-headed and animal-headed deities who hold in their hands snakes lizards and knives text the book of establishing osiris firmly of giving air to the still heart whilst thoth repulseth the foes of osiris who cometh there in his transformations and is protected and made strong and guarded in the underworld by the operation of the will of thoth himself and shu setteth upon him each day thoth saith i am thoth the perfect scribe whose hands are pure the lord of the two horns who maketh iniquity to be destroyed the scribe of right and truth who abominateth sin behold he is the writing reed of the god neber the lord of laws who giveth forth the speech of wisdom and understanding whose words have dominion over the two lands i am thought the lord of right and truth who trieth the right and truth for the gods the judge of words in their essence whose words triumph over violence i have scattered the darkness i have driven away the whirlwind and the storm i have given the pleasant breeze of the north wind unto osiris un nefer as he came forth from the womb of her who gave him birth i have made ra to set as osiris and osiris setteth as ra setteth i have made him to enter into the hidden habitation to vivify the heart of the still heart the holy soul who dwelleth in amentet and to shout cries of joy unto the still heart un nefer the son of nut i am thoth the favoured one of ra the lord of might who bringeth to a prosperous end that which he doeth the mighty one of enchantments who is in the boat of millions of years the lord of laws the subduer of the two lands whose words of might gave strength to her that gave him birth whose word doeth away with opposition and fighting and who performeth the will of ra in his shrine i am thoth who made osiris to triumph over his enemies i am thoth who issueth the decree at dawn whose sight followeth on again after his overthrow at his season the guide of heaven and earth and the underworld and the creator of the life of all nations and peoples i gave air unto him that was in the hidden place by means of the might of the magical words of my utterance and osiris triumpheth over his enemies i came unto thee o lord of ta chesser osiris bull of ament and thou wert strengthened for ever 
i set everlastingness as a protection for thy members and i came unto thee having protection in my hand and i guarded thee with strength during the course of each and every day protection and life were behind this god protection and life were behind this god and his ka was glorified with power the king of the tuat the prince of amentet the victorious conqueror of heaven hath the atef crown firmly established upon him he is diademed with the white crown and he graspeth the crook and the whip unto him the great one of souls the mighty one of the uraret crown every god gathereth together and love for him who is un nefer and whose existence is for everlasting and all eternity goeth through their bodies homage to thee o governor of those who are in amenti who makest mortals to be born again who renewest thy youth who thou comest who dwellest in thy season and who art more beautiful than thy son horus hath avenged thee the rank or dignity of tem hath been conferred upon thee o un nefer thou art raised up o bull of amentet thou art established yea established in the body of nut who uniteth herself unto thee and who cometh forth with thee thy heart is established upon that which supporteth it and thy breast is as it was formerly thy nose is firmly fixed with life and power thou livest and thou art renewed and thou makest thyself young like ra each and every day mighty mighty is osiris in victory and he is firmly established with life i am thoth and i have pacified horus and i have quieted the two divine combatants in their season of storm i have come and i have washed the ruddy one i have quieted the stormy one and i have filled him with all manner of evil things i am thoth and i have made the things of the night in sekhem letopolis i am thoth and i have come daily into the cities of pei and tepu i have led along the offerings and oblations i have given cakes with lavish hand to the khus i have protected the shoulder of osiris i have embalmed him i have made sweet his odour even as is that of the beautiful god i am thoth and i have come each day into the city of ker abba i have tied the cordage and i have set in good order the makhent boat and i have brought it from the east to the west i am more exalted upon my standard than any god in my name of he whose face is exalted i have opened fair things in my name of apuat that is opener of the road and i have ascribed praise and done homage unto osiris un nefer whose existence is for ever and for ever chapter one hundred and eighty three vignette the deceased and his wife standing with hands raised in adoration thoth ibis headed standing upright and presenting symbols of strength and life text osiris hu nefer the overseer of the palace of the lord of the two lands triumphant praiseth osiris and acclaimeth him and doeth homage unto un nefer and boweth to the ground before the lord of ta chesert and exalteth those who are upon his sand saying i have come unto thee o son of nut osiris prince of everlastingness i am in the following of the god thoth and i have rejoiced at everything which he hath done for thee he hath brought unto thee sweet air for thy nose and life and strength to thy beautiful face and the north wind which cometh forth from tem for thy nostrils o lord of ta chesert he hath made the god shu to shine upon thy body he hath illumined thy path with rays of splendour he hath destroyed for thee all the evil defects which belong to thy members by the magical power of the words of his utterance he hath made the two horus brethren to be at peace for thee he hath destroyed the storm wind and the hurricane he hath made the two combatants to be gracious unto thee and the two lands to be at peace before thee he hath put away the wrath which was in their hearts and each hath become reconciled unto his brother thy son horus is triumphant in the presence of the whole company of the gods the sovereignty over the world hath been given unto him and his dominion is in the uttermost parts of the earth the throne of the god seb hath been adjudged unto him along with the rank which hath been founded by the god temu and which hath been established by decrees in the chamber of books and hath been inscribed upon an iron tablet according to the command of thy father ptah tanen when he sat upon the great throne he hath set his brother upon that which the god shu beareth up 
to stretch out the waters over the mountains and to make to spring up that which groweth upon the hills and the grain which shooteth upon the earth and he giveth increase by water and by land gods celestial and gods terrestrial transfer themselves to the service of thy son horus and they follow him into his hall where a decree is passed that he shall be lord over them and they perform it straightway thy heart rejoiceth o lord of the gods thy heart rejoiceth greatly egypt and the red land are at peace and they serve humbly under thy sovereign power the temples are established upon their own lands cities and gnomes possess firmly the property which they have in their names and we will make to thee the divine offerings which we are bound to make and offer sacrifices in thy name for ever acclamations are made in thy name libations are poured out to thy ka sepulchral meals are brought unto thee by the khus who are in thy following and water is sprinkled upon the offerings upon both sides of the souls of the dead in this land every design which hath been ordered for thee according to his that is ra's commands in the beginning hath been perfected now therefore o son of nut thou art diademed as nebercher is diademed at his rising thou livest thou art stablished thou renewest thy youth and thou art true and perfect thy father ra maketh strong thy members and the company of the gods make acclamations unto thee the goddess isis is with thee and she never leaveth thee thou art not overthrown by thine enemies the lords of all lands praise thy beauties even as they praise ra when he riseth at the beginning of each day thou risest up like an exalted one upon thy standard thy beauties exalt the face of man and make long his stride i have given unto thee the sovereignty of thy father seb and the goddess mut thy mother who gave birth to the gods brought thee forth as the firstborn of five gods and created thy beauties and fashioned thy members thou art established as king the white crown is upon thy head and thou hast grasped in thy hands the crook and the whip whilst thou wert in the womb and hadst not us yet come forth therefrom upon the earth thou wert crowned lord of the two lands and the atef crown of ra was upon thy brow the gods come unto thee bowing low to the ground and they hold thee in fear they retreat and depart when they see thee with the terror of ra and the victory of thy majesty is in their hearts life is with thee and offerings of meat and drink follow thee and that which is thy due is offered up before thy face grant thou that i may follow in the train of thy majesty even as i did upon earth let my soul be called into the presence and let it be found by the side of the lords of right and truth i have come into the city of god the region which existed in primeval time with my soul and with my double and with my coup to dwell in this land the god thereof is the lord of right and truth he is the lord of the techetha food of the gods and he is most holy his land draweth unto itself every other land the south cometh sailing down the river thereto and the north steered thither by winds cometh daily to make festival therein according to the command of the god thereof who is the lord of peace therein and doth he not say the happiness thereof is a care unto me the god who dwelleth therein worketh right and truth unto him that doeth these things he giveth old age and to him that followeth after them rank and honour and at length he attaineth unto a happy funeral and burial in ta -chisert. i have come unto thee and my hands hold right and truth and my heart hath no crafty wickedness therein i offer up before thee that which is thy due and i know that whereon thou livest i have not committed any sin in the land and i have defrauded no man of that which is his i am thoth the perfect scribe whose hands are pure i am the lord of purity the destroyer of evil the scribe of right and truth and that which i abominate is sin behold me for i am the writing reed of the god nebercher the lord of laws who giveth forth the word of wisdom and understanding and whose speech hath dominion over the two lands i am thoth the lord of right and truth who maketh the feeble one to gain the victory and who avengeth the wretched and the oppressed on him that wrongeth him i have scattered the darkness i have driven away the storm and i have brought the wind to un the beautiful breeze of the north wind even as it came forth from the womb of his mother 
i have caused him to enter into the hidden abode to vivify the heart of the still heart um nefer the son of nut horus triumphant chapter one hundred and eighty four vignette the deceased standing upright before osiris who wears the atef crown and holds in his hands the whip and crook emblems of sovereignty and dominion text the chapter of being nigh unto osiris the osiris ua the overseer of the estates of amen triumphant saith chapter one hundred and eighty five vignette osiris at the head of abtu the great god prince of eternity and governor of amentet enthroned within a shrine he holds in his hands the whip and crook emblems of sovereignty and dominion before him with hands raised in adoration stand the deceased and his wife hent neteru the lady of the house the singing woman of amen triumphant text the giving of praises unto osiris and paying homage unto the lord of eternity and propitiating the god in his will and declaring the right and truth the lord of which is unknown the osiris satimes the libationer and president of the altar chamber in the apse the president of the scribes of the temple of amen triumphant saith homage to thee o thou holy god thou mighty and beneficent being thou prince of eternity who dwellest in thy abode in the sectet boat thou whose risings are manifold in the atet boat to thee are praises rendered in heaven and upon earth peoples and nations exalt thee and the majesty of the terror of him is in the hearts of men and khus and the dead thy soul is in tetet mendes and the terror of thee is in sutton henen thou settest the visible emblems of thyself in anu and the greatness of thy transformations in the double place of purification i have come unto thee and my heart hath right and truth therein and there is neither craft nor guile in my breast grant thou that i may have my being among the living and that i may sail down and up the river among those who are in thy following chapter one hundred and eighty six vignette the goddess hathor in the form of a hippopotamus wearing upon her head a disc and horns in her right hand she holds an unidentified object and in her left the emblem of life before her are offerings and behind her the cow may urit who may be identified with hathor looks forth from the funeral mountain at the foot of the mountain is the tomb and in the foreground grows a group of flowering plants text hathor lady of amentet mighty dweller in the funeral mountain lady of tachesert daughter or eye of ra dweller before him beautiful of face in the boat of millions of years the habitation or seat of peace creator of law in the boat of the favoured ones chapter one hundred and thirty seven vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the papyrus of nu text the chapter of entering in unto the company of the gods the overseer of the palace the chancellor in chief nu triumphant saith homage to you o company of the gods of ra i have come before you i am in the following of ra i have made my way and i have passed in among you let not my hand be repulsed in whatsoever i do this day chapter one hundred and thirty eight vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the papyrus of nu text the chapter of the going in of the soul to build an abode and to come forth by day in human form the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant the son of the overseer of the palace amen hetep triumphant saith come in peace thou hast a coup enter thou in peace into the divine uchat behold thou hast a coup together with a soul ba and a she ka ibit to look thereupon may it behold me when i am judged in whatever place it may be with my attributes and with my form and with my faculties of mind and with all my attributes ordered and perfect even as a soul which is provided with all things and is divine may i shine like ra in his divine splendour in the temple and may my soul and my shade come to me upon their legs from the place where i am judged and behold me may i stand up and sit down and enter into the house of his body which behold hath become one of the starry gods of osiris who travel by day and journey by night and celebrate the festivals chapter one hundred and eighty nine this chapter is without a vignette in the papyrus of nu text the chapter of not letting a man perform a journey being hungry and of not letting him eat filth the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief nu triumphant the son of the overseer of the palace amen hetep triumphant saith 
the things which are an abomination unto me the things which are an abomination unto me i will not eat what i abominate is filth and i will not eat thereof in the place of the sepulchral cakes which are offered unto the cause let me not be thrown down upon it let it not light upon my body let it not enter into my fingers and let it not join itself unto my toes thou shalt live then upon that which the gods and the khus decree for me in this place and upon that which is brought unto thee there let me live upon the seven cakes which shall be brought unto me four cakes before horus and three cakes before thoth the gods and the khus shall say unto me what manner of food wouldst thou have given unto thee and i reply let me eat my food beneath the sycamore tree of the goddess hathor and let my times be among the divine beings who have alighted thereon let me have the power to order my own fields in tatu and my own growing crops in anu let me live upon bread made of white barley and let my beer be made from red grain and may the persons of my father and mother be given unto me as guardians of my door and for the ordering of the divine territory let me be sound and strong let me have a large room let me make a way let me have my seat wherever i please like a living soul and let me never be kept in restraint by mine enemy that which is an abomination unto me is filth and i will not eat thereof let me never pass over filth and offal in anu but let it depart from me i am the bull who ordereth his habitation i fly like the mighty one i cackle like the smen goose and i alight upon the beautiful sycamore which standeth in the lake of akeb i come forth and i alight upon it he who alighteth there in the form of the great god shall not be driven away therefrom the things which i abominate i will not eat the things which i abominate the things which i abominate are filth and offal and i will not eat thereof the things which are an abomination unto my ka are filth and offal they shall never enter into my body they shall never come into my hands and i will never tread upon them with my sandals o send ye not forth against me foul water harm ye not me with the rod give ye not unto me snatch ye me not away from the edge of your deep cisterns and let me not depart from you being overthrown the divine alkhemu brings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me upon what wilt thou live in this land whither thou art going and wherein thou wouldst be glorious and i reply i will live upon the cakes made of black grain and upon ale made of white grain and upon four cakes and sekhet hetep which is more than the food of any or every god moreover i have four loaves of bread during the course of each and every day besides four loaves in anu which is more than the food of any or every god and the divine alkhemu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me what hast thou brought to eat in that holy furrow on that day when i receive my offerings with anti unguent and i reply i will not eat thereof it shall not come into my hands and i will not tread thereon with my sandals and the divine alkhemu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me upon what wilt thou live in this land whither thou art going and wherein thou wouldst be glorious and i reply i will live upon the seven cakes which shall be brought four in the temple of horus and three in the temple of thoth and the divine alkhemu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me who then shall bring them unto thee and i reply the divine associate of the temples of the herachati goddesses of anu and they say where wilt thou eat them and i reply beneath the beams of the beautiful ark to which hymns are sung as it is borne along thither shall i be taken and the divine al kamu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me wouldst thou live then upon the things which belong to another every day and i reply i will myself plough the fields of my estate in sekhet Aru. and the divine al kamu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me who will protect them for thee and i reply the two divine daughters of the divine king of the north besides those who belong to them and the divine al kamu beings of the god pen haseb shall say unto me who will plough them for thee and i reply the divine chiefs who dwell among the gods of heaven and the gods of earth the treading down of the earth shall be done for me by the cow goddess hapiu who dwelleth in the city of sal and the harvest shall be reaped for me by sudi the lord of heaven and of earth hail ye who turn back 
the blossoms upon yourselves ye whose transgressions are done away with whose faces are holy behold i am with the divine beings of set at the mountain of bacchao and i sit down along with the spiritual bodies who are perfect on the side of the lake of osiris to rejoice my heart shall not i make the overseer of the palace the chancellor-in-chief new triumphant to no life chapter one hundred and ninety vignette this chapter is without a vignette in the papyrus of nu text the book of making perfect the coup within ra of making him to gain the mastery before tem of magnifying him before osiris of making him to be powerful before the governor of amentet and of causing him to be mighty before the company of the gods rubric this book shall be recited on the first day of the month of the festival on the festival of the six on the festival of uak on the festival of thoth on the birthday of osiris on the festival of sekri and on the festival of the night of haker it will enable a man to pass through the hidden places of the tuat and to penetrate the secret habitations of neter kurt to break through mountains and to open up a way through the secret valleys which are unknown this chapter shall preserve or embalm the coup it shall make broad his steps it shall give him power to walk it shall destroy the deafness of his face and it shall enable him to make a way for his face with the god when thou recitest this chapter thou shalt not let any man whatsoever see thee except him that is indeed dear to thy heart and the priest who readeth the service ker heb thou shalt not let any other person see thee and no servant shall come outside the chamber wherein thou art thou shalt recite this chapter inside a chamber lined with cloth decorated literally shot with stars throughout the soul of every ku that is the deceased for whom this book hath been recited shall come forth among the living he himself shall come forth by day and he shall gain the mastery among the gods and shall not be repulsed by them and these gods shall revolve around about him and they shall acknowledge literally recognize him and indeed he shall be as the divine one among them and he shall make thee to know the transformations which shall come to him in the light this book is indeed a very great mystery and thou shalt never allow those who dwell in the papyrus swamps of the delta that is ignorant folk or any person whatsoever to see it End of chapters 181 through 190 end of the egyptian book of the dead by e a wallace budge